Meanwhile, we've got an historic space mission today. SpaceX is launching its first manned shuttle to the International Space Station later today, the Crew Dragon. It is the first time since 2011 that astronauts will lift off from American soil on an American-made rocket and spacecraft. This launch is coming on the heels of the latest initiative from the Commerce Department to help improve the licensing process for private U.S. satellites, fighting to put the U.S. in the lead of the final frontier. Joining me right now is Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross. Mr. Secretary, it's good to have you this morning. Thanks very much for joining me. Good to be on, Maria. So this is an exciting day. Tell me why the U.S. Is, it wants to be front and center in space travel and what we will see today. Well, what has happened is, in contrast to 2011, when President Obama took us out of the space launch business, that ended our leadership in space launch. Now we're going to get it back. This is the first time since then that American rockets, American astronauts, to the American space station. And that's really important. We were paying the Russians up to $86 million per seat to take our astronauts to our space station. That's now over with. And it's important both commercially and militarily. You know the president has stood down the Space Force, which is a whole new branch of the military, because space will be the new warfighting domain. But the commercial side is very, very important. It's bringing the cost of everything down, and that's what's going to facilitate space tourism, space manufacturing, space habitation, space mining, a whole bunch of new activities, and that will take the industry from its current $400 billion total to over a trillion dollars. So this is a very, very big deal, and it's going to happen hopefully precisely at 4.33 p.m. this afternoon from the famous launch pad 39A uh, at the Kennedy Space Station at Cape Canaveral. Wow, it is really exciting. We're going to be taking it live later on, uh, Wilbur, and uh, we will uh, look forward to that. Let me switch gears, ask you about China and, and, and the tensions rising in Hong Kong. Riot police firing tear gas pellets at protesters. They're demonstrating over this bill criminalizing disrespect of China's national anthem and against plans by Beijing to impose national security laws. President Trump says that you know, saying, should these laws go through, there would be a response in, quote, the next couple of days. What kind of a response might we expect, Secretary? Well, I don't think we should get out ahead of the president. This is a very complex situation. Our hearts go out to the individual civilians in Hong Kong. We're with them. But the president will have to decide exactly what is the appropriate response to it. And as you indicated, he has said that he will do that within the next very, very few days. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to distinguish between the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese people. Does it make sense to zero in and target specific the CCP with sanctions on Chinese officials? Well, there's a whole menu of potential things that he could do. And I'm sure they're working right now on exactly how to refine the thinking and come up with something that's an appropriate response. I see. Wilbur, let me ask you, the last time you joined us, there was breaking news on Huawei. The U.S. moved to cut off chip supplies to Huawei from global chip makers. What has been the impact? Well, uh, you've seen Huawei make some very big complaints about it. But at around the same time, although it was not particularly related, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing announced that they have plans to build their new cutting-edge chip factory that can make the tiniest chips of any in the world, namely 5 nanometer, in Arizona. 
That's a huge, huge breakthrough because the, heretofore they've only had small facilities in Washington and, and Texas and elsewhere. But this will be a big deal. It's something like a $13 billion project. And we believe that it will lead to more fabs being built. Fab is the operation that makes the semiconductor chip. So this is a, a series of very powerful things. In addition, we more recently put 33 more yep. Chinese entities on our so-called entity list. That was mainly for human rights violations relating to the Uyghurs, a very beleaguered part of the Chinese population. And so that was a response to that situation. Mm, I, I, I suspect the response from the Chinese Communist government is going to be they're not going to follow through and buy that $250 billion in, in uh, commodities. Is that what you expect? Oh, I think we shouldn't prejudge either what the president will do or what the Chinese might do in response. This is a very delicate situation. A lot of things need to be balanced, but mainly our hearts do go out to the Chinese civilians, and we hope things work okay. out well from their point of view.